plow long enough, you realize small little problems as they pop up. Now with my last blade, I had old conveyor belt that I put across the top of the blade as a snow deflector because when it's really cold out and the snow is like light and fluffy, as you're plowing snow, the, pl the snow comes up over top of the blade and goes right to your windshield and causes your wiper blades to freeze up a lot more and to chunk up with ice. And that's the problem I'm having. So we're gonna fix that today. Now this is old conveyor belt. And it is nine inches roughly wide. And what it'll do is, if I can hold this, it'll go, It'll go right on there like that and then any snow that comes up the blade it'll hit this and fall back in front of it that way it keeps the snow from coming up over the edge as I'm driving and the wind takes it right back up to my windshield causing more ice build up on my windshield so I put this on here and then I put steel um, strips across the top drill through both of them and then at that point um, I run bolts through with lock nuts on it to hold it in place. So let's do it. So that is essentially what it will look like. I got to trim it down because this piece is too long. No big deal. I'll cut it down that side, but I just have it clamped on there. And then what I do is take these pieces of metal and they will go on right across there. And then I drill holes through here. And through the top edge of the blade there and then I run my bolts right through with lock nuts on them and washers and then it'll pinch the rubber between the two pieces And that's it. 3 8 bolt, washer, another washer. I have you upside down here. And a lock nut. And it pinches that rubber flap in between and keeps it from going anywhere. Now I'll do that, you know, I don't know, probably about, we'll go about that far apart. They don't have to be, you know, right on top of each other. That's excessive. It ain't going to bother it. But I'll go about that far apart from each one. And I'll go all the way down. And that's all I do. I had to keep switching back and forth because my drill bits aren't the best. So I had to step it up. It's usually easier to drill out that way anyway. But I had to step it up and go, you know, in sizes to get the hole up to the 3 8 size that I wanted it to be at. But my batteries aren't so good. Apparently I didn't charge them enough on my drill. So this may take a little bit longer than expected. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Now it has that rubber flap on there and it'll keep the snow from coming over the edge and going right up at my windshield. If you guys have never plowed with one of these on there, I highly recommend it. Um, it's a must have. I don't know why I didn't do it before when I first got the plow. I knew I would want it. It's especially for, you know, pushing long driveways or across parking lots when you, you know, get cruising, pushing the snow and it's a dry light fluffy like flaky snow it just it hits that blade and it comes up it and then because of the wind because you're moving forward it blows it right up over the top of the plow and it goes right up at your windshield and it just your wipers have to be on high all the time it causes more ice build up right under your wiper blades causes more ice build up on your wiper blades and it just it makes everything so much more difficult you know and when it's in the middle of the night and you're out there plowing you don't want to be dealing with that stuff so um this just makes a world of difference so if you got any i think this stuff is like 
like quarter inch thick, roughly. You know, you don't want it too thin to where the snow is just going to push it right over. Like this is, I'm really tugging up on this. You know, you want it to move a little bit. Um, a lot of plow manufacturers make the hard plastic ones. I've used them before. Uh, you get a good heavy wet snow load that comes against it, it snaps them right off. It breaks them. Uh, years ago, I went to using just pieces of rubber, and it works 100 times better. It'll allow it to flex a little bit, but it keeps the snow. As it comes up the blade, it drops it right back in front of the blade again. So if you're wind rolling, it keeps it pushing over. Um, and if you're pushing straight, it just keeps dropping it back in front of the blade, allowing you to keep pushing forward without it coming up over the blade. So it makes a huge difference. Um, it, it just works for me. It's what I like to do. But if anybody was curious and how to install one, this probably even with switching back and forth to four different drill bits to step it up hole by hole, it, uh, it still only took me about 15, 20 minutes to do this whole thing. And that included cutting this down because the rubber was too long and then this strip i had two four foot strips and this blade is a seven six so i had to cut a little off the end of that one strip so even with doing all that drilling the holes putting all the hardware in still i don't know maybe only 20 minutes it took me to do this but it'll be something i'm very thankful for in the next snowfall so another issue i commonly have is when you're out plowing and you have all that slushy nastiness, your windows get really dirty. And then when you try to look out your windows or look in your mirrors, your mirrors are dirty too. It's really hard to see. But if you use regular window cleaner with paper towels, it freezes up, it clumps up. When it's really cold out, it turns all crappy and it's really hard to do. So this is something I started doing a few years ago and it works really, really well. And it doesn't leave your windows flawlessly perfectly clean but it gets the job done so you can still see and do what you got to do I take um, the same windshield washer de-icer fluid that I use in my trucks and I put it in a spray bottle because it won't freeze up and I usually leave it in the truck and then I get a squeegee a little handheld one and this is what I do See how nasty those windows are? Makes it really hard to see out of. Spray a bunch of de-icer washer fluid on there. And then I take the squeegee right down the window. I don't even scrub them, I don't wash them, nothing. Just spray it on there. Like I said, it's gonna leave a few little streaks on there, but not many. But now that window's clean and I can see out of it. Same thing with my mirrors. And these mirrors are heated. So when you get all that crappy stuff on there and you have the heated mirrors on, it really dries it up on there and makes it all crappy. Same thing with this one, all of them, all the way around. And it just keeps me from having to be out here with a bunch of paper towels. They're just gonna clump up and harden up. Nice and simple. Now the only problem is, see the crap it leaves all over the truck, but the truck needs washed anyway. This just gets me out of a bind when I really need to get stuff done so that I can see out of them. See it left some dry streaks on there. Sometimes I just gotta spray it and go over it one more time. And at least it's good enough that I can see out of it. Now sometimes if you leave this in your truck, this rubber will harden up. And so it doesn't make it as easy to scrape. So if I know my windows are getting bad, I'll take this and I'll throw it up on the dash for a minute or two. While the windows are, uh, or while the defrost is on, softens the rubber right back up, makes it nice and simple.